Hi guys, it's me, Miss Manifesto, helping you open a spiritual doorway to the abundance that you deserve. Today on the channel, I wanted to be talking to you about one really important thing that you can be doing to speed up your manifestations, not just at the intention setting point, but on the daily. Before we get started, make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the bell to get regular updates from my channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And guys, if you want to sign up to my email list, you can get access to my Law of Attraction library, which is full of law of attraction and mindset resources to help you manifest. And I will pop the link to that in the description below. Let's get started. Most people get into manifestation and want to know more about it and learn how to manifest because there's something that we're asking for. There's something we want to create in our lives, but ultimately it's about something we want to receive, something we want the universe to give us. And that's the first thing I want you to just kind of bring your attention to is that energy of receiving. Now, when we do the intention setting process, and I'm not going to go into like, you know, all the different types of intention setting processes, because there's lots of manifestation exercises out there. Uh, but we do know that it's about connecting to our feelings. So when you're doing manifestation exercises, it's not about doing them when you're in a negative energy place, when you're feeling desperate. It's also about finding manifestation exercises that feel fun for you because if they feel boring, then you're putting in like bored energy. You know, you have to go into all of that stuff from a place of excitement and feeling good. And that is one of the key things that we talked about on this channel is how you feel when you're setting intentions and when you're asking for stuff. And also about asking it in the present tense. But this next tip is the one kind of piece of crucial advice that I want you to take away that's gonna help you to speed up your manifestation process. And it's about understanding what you are giving in this process. Not about you receiving, and it's all about what you take from the situation. What energetically are you giving? Now, obviously, gratitude is on that plane of a giving energy because you're giving thanks for something. But there's more to it than that. Everything in this universe is an exchange of energy. And I'd like you to kind of take it one step further and to consider what you want to manifest with a real, I mean, a real energy of love that you are not doing this because you just want to receive it and what you get from it. It's about the love and the energy that you want to bring to this manifestation. Now, for example, manifesting a job. If you want to manifest a job and it's all about what they can give you, okay, yeah, like manifestation is about, about being clear about what we want, but it, I tell you guys, you are going to speed it up so much more if you are connecting to that visualized place of work and putting a real loving energy out of what you are going to provide for them, of how much you want to serve them, of all the amazing skills and qualities, everything that you bring to the table because this is what you want to do. It's about putting that loving energy into your manifestations. When it comes to money, it's not all about what the money can do for you. It's how you can bless people with money. Appreciating and loving money for what it does for people, for the opportunities it provides. Appreciating and loving money for more than just what it does for you. And the same as if you are looking to manifest a relationship about the love that you want to give that person, how big, how full your heart feels, how much you want to bless that person with the experience of your affection, of your love, of your attention, of all the little things you want to do for them. It's all about an exchange of energy, not about just how much we're receiving. And if you are considering that you're giving out an energy of generosity, if you are giving out an energy of love, then that is what will be reflected back to you. So this is something that you can do when you are actually setting your intention is considering actively, what is it that I want to do with this love, with this desire in my heart? 
How do I want to put that out? How do I want to appreciate? How do I want to bless? I've got all this love spilling out of me and how do I want to put that out there with this manifestation? And then you can do this, guys, on the daily. Like, it's about taking your gratitude practice a step further. It's not just about saying, thank you, I feel really good when I got this, you know, thank you, I'm gonna feel really great. Thank you, oh my God, it's such a relief. Thank you, I feel successful. It's about, thank you, I appreciate you for coming into my life. I appreciate this for coming into my life because I love you, I respect you. I've got so much to offer you. It's about understanding the exchange between the energy you're putting out and you vibrationally attracting that thing through making yourself desirable. You know, things are gonna to wanna to come to you if they know that you love them. If you're putting out that energy of, I want you and I want to serve you, then those amazing things, of course they're gonna to come to you because they know that you've got that vibration of love. You become a magnet to those things by putting that energy out rather than just kind of being in a place of, I don't have this and I want it and it's not here yet and I'm not receiving. If you put the energy out of what you want to give, the love you want to give, the blessings you want to give, you are going to speed up your manifestation so much faster through that energy of generosity because that's what's going to be reflected back to you. You can do this through writing on paper. You can do this through your mind and just connecting into your emotions. You can do this through artwork. There's lots of different ways to do it, but connecting into the love that you want to give, the generosity you want to give, and the appreciation that you have for those things, even though you haven't got them yet. It's not about you saying, I'll be grateful for you when I get you. It's about saying, I appreciate and I love you now. And that is especially true of like relationships and things. Uh, when people are trying to like, you know, attract specific people and, and exes and things. There's a whole other video on that, guys, but you know, if you are saying I love you unconditionally, not just based on whether you come to me or not, when you put out that unconditional love, that's gonna bring things to you much, much quicker. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope it's made sense and I will see you soon for another Law of Attraction video. Take care, bye.